Welcome to Leaf Map Tutorial Episode 2. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change uh, base maps in Leaf Map. In the uh, last video, uh, Episode 1, I already showed you how to install GeoPandas and the Leaf Map uh, package. So, in this video, I want to continue to uh, the novel example. So, go to the uh, website leafmap.org and then click novel examples. Second one, using base maps. If you know how to use uh, Git, uh, you can clone the Git repository from GitHub. Uh, you can just copy here and then you can use Git. If you just want to try out this notebook, you can click the notebook icon and then to download this one to your computer. So I'm going to download to my downloads folder and then you can open an account prompt or your uh, Windows terminal or uh, Mac uh, terminal. So I'm just going to right click open and, uh, in Windows terminal and then I'm going to use Conda activate Geo. So this is the Conda environment that we created in the last video and then just type Jupyter Notebook hit enter it's open Jupyter on your browser uh, what's, uh, okay sorry there's a typo so Jupyter Notebook hit enter by the way so for every notebook example, you should see these two icons here. You can either run it in Google Collect or you can launch a binder. So if you just click here, it will take you to the Google uh, Collect. In here, you can directly just uh, run through the source code, but make sure that you install the package first. So you need to basically um, add the new code block. And then from here, you can type exclamation pip install lib map and then you should be able to run through all the source code if you are not familiar with a leaf map, a leaf map so it has two protein libraries i actually have uh, three right now so it has a uh, folium ipy leaflet and uh, here maps if you go to the uh, home page you should be able to find the uh, information here so we have three protein um, widget and the folium uh, is the one most likely uh, you're going to use it on google collab because Google Collab does not support iPy Libdate yet. And iPy Libdate is way more flexible, more powerful. But uh, due to the security reason, Google Collab has not supported iPy Libdate yet. So in Google, if you run things on Google Collab, it's going to use the Folium uh, library. If you run that on your local computer or using um, a binder, then you can use uh, iPy Libdate or the here uh, widget. So, uh, if you click this one here, uh, it's going to use the Folium. So you don't, you can directly just import a uh, leaf map. Uh, it's going to automatically use the Folium uh, protein backend. But as you can see, um, in this example, Folium is actually relatively limited. So you cannot use the toolbar, a lot of interactive components that I developed for the leaf, leaf map. So I highly recommend that uh, if possible, try to install that one setup on your computer. Again, you can follow my uh, episode one to install GeoPandas and LeapMap on your computer. Also, you can just use a uh, binder. So if you just uh, uh, click the second link here, and go back to the notebooks. So this one, uh, the downside is that it might take a while sometimes to launch the example, especially if it is the first time after I push the changes to GitHub. So it's going to be uh, taking time to rebuild um, the the uh, the instance, so it might take a while, but after that it should be pretty straightforward. So anyway, and since I already installed uh, LeapMap on my computer, I'm going to, going to use uh, my local Jupyter notebook. So once I download the example, I can just click and then open. Again, it's the same source code, and we're going to go through here how you can change base map in LeapMap. Okay. By the way, so if you're using on your uh, local computer, because we have multiple protein backends, if you by default is just using import uh, lead map, it's going to use the IPy leaflet. So let me execute the first two uh, code blocks here. And this is what you're going to see. This one is using the IPy leaflet uh, protein uh, backend. If you want to use Folium, you can just import leadmap.folium map as leaf map and then everything else uh, stay the same so you can uh, use this way you can also import leaf map dot uh, here map and so it's going to use the here map uh, widget 
we talk about more later in uh, this tutorial series but for now i can just execute this one and you see the difference right so this one here it looks slightly different this one is using the volume and um, again this one the volume is better to be used in google collab if you're on your local computer um just use ipad leaflet uh, it's a lot more powerful you will see this icon in here right so these things are all very interactive and very convenient uh, volume it does not allow things like that so uh, relatively limited and once you create a map uh, by default you will see this uh, google map so it's up to you uh, if you can click the layers icon here you can see this uh, you can turn the layer on and off so behind uh, the google map there's also the open stream map right so you can use the open stream map uh, for it's the base map you can also turn the layer on and you can use the uh, slider here to change the transparency okay and this icon right now doesn't do anything yet um, i'm yet to implement things that you can uh, customize the settings but for now uh, let's just leave as it is you can only change this uh, the transparency if you don't like using google map yeah you can certainly customize to remove the map so when you create a map you can pass in google map equal to none that means you don't want the google map so it won't show you the google map so this one right now is using the default ipad leaflet based map so there's nothing here you can still turn the layer on and off but uh, uh, this is how you can customize uh, which google map you want also google map has multiple um maps so for the by default is using the raw map but you can use also use satellite imagery so for in this case we're going to use the hybrid so the hybrid means uh, it has satellite imagery but it also has a label so we can just uh, shift enter then you should be able to see this one right so you have the label for example here united states right if you zoom into other location you should be able to see all the labels so this is the one um uh, also might be useful if you want to see the changes uh using uh, satellite imagery okay so there's also added, uh, another one uh terrain so this one is similar to the the uh, google roadmap but it has terrain so if you zoom in you should be able to see uh the topography um the dm uh, hue shade right pretty nice you can also see the contour um the more you zoom in the more detail you're going to see right and to a certain level you might not uh, see much detail but this is something if you want doing some uh topographic analysis then you might want to uh, use this one okay so this is how you can uh customize besides uh you create a map you can also use the add base map function so the add base map function this allow you to uh add any base map by the way if you want to see what kind of base map are available uh you can either go to here uh click the toolbar icon and then click the first one so the first one allows you to change base map without coding so if you click this one right and let me hide this one here oh just move your cursor out and then you can just change this one here without having to write any line of code right uh pretty nice and we have a lot of base map to choose from what you need to do is to actually get the name so each layer here has a name and this name is where you can pass into the uh the base map or you can add the base map so for example if you want they say i want the uh open uh topo map uh you can certainly do it in here you just change the hybrid to open topo map then you should be able to add the map as the default uh setting so for example let me execute this one all right so this is where you can add the, uh, the map i can just change to open uh topo map maybe shift enter now you have this one right so this is how you can customize the map if you don't you can certainly use the button to change the layer but if you if you want to preload uh the base map layer this is how you can do that uh using uh the source code so you can either pass in directly within the map funds uh the class or you can create the map first and then you can add the base map layer either way it is fine so you want to have two layers right so you have this one comes from when you create a map class and the second one is when you add the base map manually okay so this is how you can add uh base map and uh, also change base map uh, without coding next here i'm going to show you uh, you can actually add more uh, layers so it can be any uh, web services for example xyz tie uh, layer 
it can also be WMS uh, tile layer and so the first example here basically it's pretty much uh, the same so you have um, you can pass in an URL and you can also have a name if you don't know what to pass in for the function you can put your cursor within the parentheses and then press shift tab on your keyboard to bring up uh, the documentation so the api reference you will see what kind of parameter you can pass in right you can also whether you want to show the map you can also change the uh, opacity so this is things you can customize in this case we're trying to add a google satellite using this url so this is the xyz uh, type uh, web service and this is the name of the layer going to show up on the layer control you can certainly change the opacity also attribution and also whether you want to show the map by default or not uh, let me create this one first and let's see what happened right so this is the default uh, google satellite map and i can change for example the opacity is the opacity to maybe just 0.5 and let's see if it works okay now you see it's kind of a transparent so if i go back to the layer here this one actually is being synchronized so it's the opacity change to 0.5 right you can say it changes to a much a smaller one right so you can see this this is how you can change the settings interactively i can change maybe to uh, 0.8 shift enter again right it's slightly larger but it's still the same you can also control whether you want to show the map by default or not so if i use to show equal to uh force and then shift enter now by default the layer is not being shown so if you go to the layer control now this one is unchecked okay you can certainly turn it on and off so this is very convenient you can pass in whatever uh, xyz uh tile layer uh, and then just paste the link in here and you can change the name if you want everything else uh, just works uh, using the default uh, settings so you should be able to load the map uh, into uh, Jupyter notebook the second example is we're going to use here the WMS layer so uh, very similar you can shift enter to take a look at the example uh, you will need the URL also the layer because sometimes it can be multiple layers so, so you need to make sure that you get the name of the layer correctly and then you can also change the format also transparency opacity whether you want to show this one by default or not so this allows you to uh, get all kind of web services from the internet and then you can display on the map you can also open your local or online vector data to overlay uh, on the, the data sets okay so i'm just going to execute this one and let's see what happens so this one is using the uh, USDA United uh, States uh, uh, Department of Agriculture, the uh, National Agriculture Imagery Program, right? So this is one meter resolution imagery uh, across the US. So it's very, very detailed. You can zoom in, you can take a look at uh, the, the, um, the imagery. Uh, it's very, very high resolution, one meter resolution. So uh, very nice. As you can see, you don't really need to download any data set. You can bring in uh, all kind of a web services from the internet and then directly load it on the map and you can use that to uh, do some uh, comparison with your data set so for example i can also open the data uh, i can open any vector data from the internet if i want so in this case uh, you can paste any url from here and then you can uh, use that for uh, comparison so if you want i can go to my uh, live map uh, uh, repository i can try to find some sample data set here within the repository so i can maybe see what, what, what which one do we want and maybe uh us cities doc geojson right and i just click the lower button then i can copy the url i can come back to here and maybe just check the vector data layer and then i can paste the url into the uh input box and from here i can say okay this one because it's cities so it's at uh, the point layer once i click uh it's going to automatically pop up and figure out what kind of attributes uh, within the data set then i can just select okay how many columns that uh actually what i want to show on the map and then just hit apply uh it might take a couple of seconds but usually uh should be pretty quick okay is it already here yeah so it's already here and let me just maybe turn off the image layer now you see All right so you can certainly use this one to uh, overlay any kind of data set you want and uh, you can bring in data set from your local computer 
or we can bring something directly from the HTTP URL. Okay, so the last example, uh, I'm going to show you, you can actually add multiple data layers, right? So again, I'm going to add uh, the Google Basemap uh, hybrid, and I'm also going to add two data layers. So these two data layers come from the uh, US Fish and uh, Wildlife uh, Service. So this it is the national wetlands uh, inventory, right? So you have these two links in here, layer one and layer two. Also, I'm going to add the built-in uh, lesion, and uh, we're going to talk about more later in this uh, tutorial series. But for now, let's just execute and then see the result uh, quickly. Right, so you can see here we have this lesion uh, pretty nicely. You just need one line of code, and we use the so-called built-in uh, lesion uh, NWI, and you will be able to see. For example, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can take a look at uh, the data set uh, very nicely, and you can zoom you can turn the layer on and off so we have two data layers the raster data layer and also the vector data layer the raster one is uh, i think maybe 30 meter resolution so uh it be pre it's pretty coarse if you when you zoom in but you can turn on the vector data layer that one's uh, much much better and you can see the laser here uh, to do the comparison if you want you can just maximize you can zoom in to uh, look at in more details uh, about the two um, data layers and I think that's pretty much about that uh, so you can use uh, uh, either the toolbar to change the uh, base map or you can use the base map function uh, to add base map uh, to uh, leaflet and you can certainly use uh, also WMS and XYZ Thai service from the internet so uh, this gives you a couple ways that you can bring in data sets uh, to Jupyter Notebook without having to download anything. Okay, so that's all about uh, this video. I will see you in the uh, next one. Take care. Bye bye.